Welcome to the Rising 10th through Rising 12th grade high school course planning presentation. Through this presentation, the school counseling team will be sharing information about school counseling, scheduling, diploma requirements, required courses, electives, and general information related to the high school years. School counseling services are available to all students and include classroom counseling lessons, individual counseling sessions, small group counseling, crisis response, individual student planning, collaboration, consultation, referrals to community resources as needed, and parent workshops on a variety of topics. Keep in mind, support during this transition doesn't stop on the first day of school. The School Counseling Department is here to support students and families throughout high school in the areas of academic achievement, social emotional development, and college and career readiness and planning. In high school, it is important to understand the requirements necessary for graduation. In this next section, we will share the details required of both the standard and advanced studies diplomas. This information is also available in detail within the program of studies if you would like to have a copy. We will begin with the standard diploma. To earn a standard diploma, students must have a total of 22 standard credits and five verified credits. A standard credit is a credit earned when passing a course, no matter the level of that course. A verified credit is earned when a student passes a course and the SOL attached to that course. The 22 credits required for a standard diploma are four credits of English, three credits of math, three credits of science, which must include courses from at least two different science disciplines. Disciplines included are earth sciences, biology, chemistry or physics, three credits of history or social science, which must include Virginia U.S. history, which is typically taken in the 11th grade, U.S. government, which is typically taken in the senior year, and one world history or geography course. Two credits of health and PE, specifically health and PE 1 and health and PE 2, two credits of world language, fine arts, or CTE courses, which must include at least one credit of either a fine art or CTE course, one credit of economics and personal finance, and four remaining electives of the student's choice. The verified credits required for a standard diploma are two in English, which are the English Reading SOL and the English Writing SOL, one in Math, one in Science, and one in Social Studies. Next, we will be discussing the Advanced Studies Diploma. To earn an Advanced Studies Diploma, students must have a total of 26 standard credits and five verified credits. The 26 credits required for an Advanced Studies Diploma are four credits of English, four credits of math, four credits of science, which must include courses from at least three different science disciplines, from Earth Sciences, Biology, Chemistry, or Physics, four credits of history or social science, which must include Virginia U.S. history, which is typically taken in the 11th grade, U.S. government, which is typically taken in the senior year, and two credits in either world history or geography. Two credits of health and PE, specifically health and PE 1 and health and PE 2. Three credits of a world language. This requirement can be met by either completing three sequential years of one language or two credits each of two different languages. One credit of a fine art or CTE course, one credit of economics and personal finance, and three remaining electives of the student's choice. The verified credits required for an advanced diploma are the same as the standard diploma. Two in English, one in math, one in science, and one in social studies. In addition to the credit hour requirements for each diploma, students are required to complete the following graduation requirements. All students must complete a virtual course. In WJCC, we structure the diploma requirement of EPF as a blended learning course, which does meet the virtual course requirement. All students must be trained in CPR, first aid, and the use of automated external defibrillators, or an AED. This training is provided to students in WJCC through the Health and PE 1 course, which is also a graduation requirement. Students must complete either an AP course, honors level course, dual enrollment course, 
a high quality work-based learning experience or earn a CTE credential during their time in high school. Students must also demonstrate the five C's, which are critical thinking, creative thinking, communication, collaboration, and citizenship. Demonstration of these skills occurs throughout students' coursework throughout high school. Additionally, all students are required to earn a sequential elective. This requirement is met by successfully completing two sequential courses, which could be from any discipline, as long as the courses are not specifically required for graduation. For example, art foundations and drawing count as a sequential elective. Your school counselors are able to assist you in identifying specific courses that meet this requirement based on your interests. Located on the WJCC website is the program of studies for next school year. All information for each course, including prerequisites, is available in the program of studies. Additionally, students and families can find details related to high school programming and graduation requirements within the program of studies. We encourage you to utilize this resource and all of the valuable information available within. Students will select a total of eight courses each school year, as well as alternate options. We will now move into discussing course options within each content area. All students are required to earn four credits of English or language arts. There are multiple options to select from within each grade level and students are encouraged to speak with their current English teacher with questions about the available options for the following school year. In 10th grade, students may select between English 10 or Honors English 10. For 11th grade, students may select from either English 11, Honors English 11, or AP English Language and Composition. AP courses are considered college level courses and are more rigorous than honors level coursework. For 12th grade, students may select from either English Literature 12, Advanced World Literature, AP English Literature and Composition, or Capstone English 12. For students interested in the early college program with Thomas Nelson Community College, the College Composition 1 and 2 dual enrollment courses would satisfy the fourth English requirement. For social studies, the options available for students are in 10th grade, World Geography or AP Human Geography, 11th grade, Virginia U.S. History or AP U.S. History, and in 12th grade, students may either take Virginia U.S. Government or AP Government and Politics U.S. Math courses are sequential, and students will enroll in a math course that is available next in a sequence. High school credit math courses begin with Algebra 1 and move through pathways after successful completion of the course. A full chart of high school math sequencing is available on page 33 of the Program of Studies and is seen here on the screen for you today. If you have questions related to your students' math options, please speak with your student's current math teacher. In science, there are many choices available for students to select from. Many science courses have prerequisites required in order to take them, which can all be found within the program of studies. Students are encouraged to talk with their current science teacher and school counselor about available options in order to help make a selection that best aligns with the student's academic and personal goals. In the area of health and physical education, students are required to earn a credit in Health and PE 1 and Health and PE 2 for graduation. There are additional electives available through the Health and PE department that students may select from, including driver's education, lifetime fitness, and advanced physical training. Course descriptions for each option and required prerequisites are available within the program of studies. World language options are available for students in the areas of Spanish, French, German, Latin, and American Sign Language. World languages are sequential and students should select the next course in their sequence if they are interested in continuing within a language. For students working towards an advanced studies diploma, 
World language is a requirement for graduation and students must complete three credits in one language or two credits each in two different languages. WJCC offers a wide variety of elective options for students within both fine arts and career and technical education content areas. Students will be provided with a complete list of available course options, and these can also be found within the WJCC Program of Studies. Within Fine Arts, WJCC offers over 30 different courses that span art, music, or theater options. Students may also choose to take a Career and Technical Education course, or CTE course, and those are available within the following categories. Business and Information Technology, Career Connections, Family and Consumer Sciences, Health and Medical Sciences, Marketing, Technology, and Computer and Information Sciences. In WJCC, we also offer courses that are called Commonwealth Innovation Courses. These courses combine two or three courses across different disciplines that focus on project-based and or blended learning opportunities for each student. Some instruction will occur in a digital environment. Students will be grouped together and attend all courses as a class. Available options for Commonwealth Innovation courses are identified on the screen and within the Program of Studies. Here, we will pause for a moment to review additional Commonwealth Innovation course opportunities. Throughout high school, there are many additional opportunities available to students to work towards achieving their goals. WJCC offers dual enrollment courses where students earn both high school and college credit for identified courses, both in school and on campus at Thomas Nelson Community College. WJCC offers dual enrollment health science courses for EMT, medical assistant, and nurse aid on campus at TNCC for interested seniors. Rising seniors are also eligible to apply for the Early College Program. The Early College Program allows eligible seniors to complete their remaining high school diploma requirements by the end of the first semester of their senior year, and then attend TNCC as a full-time student during the second semester. Students in this program have the potential to graduate from high school with a high school diploma and up to 19 college credits. Interested students are encouraged to talk with their school counselor about the early college program and requirements for participation. Governor's Early College Scholars Program allows eligible high school students to earn at least 15 hours of transferable college credit while completing the requirements for an advanced studies diploma. Participating students sign an Early College Scholars Agreement and those who meet the terms of the agreement will receive a certificate of recognition from the governor designating early college scholars. The Gifted Education Program serves identified academically gifted students in specific content areas of study. The students' academic needs are addressed through all classes by using differentiated curriculum and instructional strategies that are appropriate for gifted and advanced learners. The English as a Second Language Program is designed to support the language acquisition and academic growth of non-native English speakers through meaningful access to and participation in the same curriculum and instruction as their native English speaking peers. WJCC partners with the New Horizons Career and Technical Education Center to provide students with the opportunity to qualify for post-secondary education and or skilled employment after graduation in a variety of fields. Courses are available to rising juniors and seniors and New Horizons does require an application, which can be found on the WJCC school's website or through your school counseling office. For details related to course opportunities, students should review the information beginning on page 65 of the Program of Studies or online through the links available on the WJCC school's website. Interested students are encouraged to talk with their school counselor about these opportunities. New Horizons Governor's School for Science and Technology is a two-year half-day program for accepted 11th and 12th grade students. Accepted students will receive instruction both at their home school for two blocks and at the governor's school for two blocks each day. 
students will select from either the computational science and engineering, biological sciences, or engineering strands for the governor's school experience. Students apply for this program during the sophomore year and interested rising 11th graders should speak with their school counselor and review application requirements. The WJCC Honors Program allows students to take advantage of extensive AP offerings at the secondary level and to complete challenging, self-designed community service and honors projects. Students who successfully complete the expectations of the Honors Program receive honors recognition. For more details on the Honors Program, students and families can visit the WJCC School website. Students and families with questions about any of these additional opportunities should speak with their school counselors for more information. When understanding the course request process, it is important to note that student input is instrumental in creating a school's master schedule each year. Starting in January, students will choose courses based on their academic, personal, and career goals. These requests inform WJCC to create a master schedule so students can take classes of interest to them and then hire staff based on student choice. Students then take their courses the following school year. It is important to thoroughly consider your course options throughout this process and make requests based on your interests and goals as changes to these requests are not guaranteed after the process has been completed. When completing the course registration process, it is important to remember that every student is different. You should select your courses based on your own academic, personal, and career goals. All high school credit bearing courses will appear on your transcript and count towards your high school GPA. Students and families should work closely with their school counselor to develop academic plans that align with your personal goals. The Program of Studies is a valuable resource that provides a wealth of information and details to students and families to support academic planning in support of student goals. Students should select courses that they want to take. Master schedules are built based on student requests and changes to requests are not guaranteed. Now let's take a moment to discuss what to expect over the next few weeks and months. Students and families are encouraged to review the program of studies and begin to identify courses that align with your academic, personal, and career goals. School counselors will work with students and families individually or in classes to review students' academic and career plans and coursework for the next school year. The course request window in view will be open beginning January 18th through February 8th. Students and families are asked to review the requested courses through student and parent view and contact their current school counselor with any questions or requests for changes. Beginning February 9th, student and parent view will be switched to view only and no changes to selections will be able to be made within view. We hope you've enjoyed the presentation for rising 10th through 12th grade course planning. If you have any questions, please submit them through the High School Curriculum Fair question portal provided on the WJCC Schools website and within the Family Newsletter. You may also contact your school counselor for additional assistance. Thank you for your time.